Hello and welcome. We are continuing to read Ranger in Time, Night of Soldiers and Spies. This is Chapter 14, The Battle of Trenton. Chapter 14 Vocabulary. Number one, a call to arms. A demand for a group of people to fight against an enemy. Number two, erupted, broke out or burst forth. Number three, cover, physical shelter or protection sought by people in danger. Number four, bayonet, a blade that may be fixed to the muzzle of a rifle and used to stab an opponent in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. And number five, storm, of troops suddenly attack and capture a building or other place by means of force. If you open your books to page 99, we'll continue reading Ranger in Time, Night of Soldiers and Spies. Chapter 14 is our chapter, The Battle of Trenton. The sky began to grow light as Isaac and the other men on the river road marched toward Trenton. Half an hour after sunrise, there was gunfire in the distance, then a cannon blast. Hessian kettle drums boomed in the center of town. It was a call to arms. The battle was beginning. Gunfire erupted just up ahead. Into the fields came an order from the front. Isaac scrambled off the road and took cover behind a tree stump. Ranger stayed low at his side. The air smelled dangerous and sharp, like fire and cold, me cold metal and fear. Isaac's hands trembled as he loaded his musket. Would it even work after this night of rain and wind? The Hessian guards are firing on us, someone shouted. They're advancing. Fix your bayonets. Isaac held his gun and attached the bayonet, the long, sharp blade that fit underneath its muzzle for hand-to-hand -hand fighting. He shuddered, imagining himself close enough to a Hessian soldier to use it. Advance, General Sullivan shouted. Isaac scrambled to his feet and ran into the road. There was gunfire and shouting. Smoke swirled in the wind with the ice and rain. Isaac's heart raced with terror as he rushed forward with the other men. Ranger tried to stay with him, but there were so many soldiers, so many pounding feet in the snow. They're retreating, someone shouted. There, Ranger spotted Isaac running up the side of the road as they chased the Hessians toward town. Ranger ran up to him and nudged his hand so Isaac would know he was there. Go on, dog. Isaac didn't slow down, but he waved Ranger away with his hand. Get out of here. You don't want to be in the middle of this. Ranger was good at following commands. That was important in search and rescue training. But he wouldn't follow this one. If Isaac was going to keep running toward the loud noises and smoke, Ranger was going too. General Sullivan's troop chased the Hessians all the way into Trenton. Isaac needed to reload his musket but there was nowhere safe to stand still. The center of town boomed with cannon fire. Sounds of splintering wood and shattering glass filled the streets. Isaac ducked behind a barrel near a brick building and reached for his cartridge bag. Ranger stood beside him. His fur prickled all over. The firework noises hurt his ears. He wished he were home in the mudroom where he could hide in his dog bed until it stopped. He didn't know how to protect Isaac in this awful, loud place where men ran everywhere, but he couldn't leave him alone. Isaac finished loading his musket and joined the stream of soldiers running past. The Hessians seemed to have abandoned the town. Everywhere Isaac looked, Continental soldiers had taken over houses and basements. Had they done it? Had they managed to storm Trenton before the Hessians could organize to defend it? Take cover, someone shouted as gunfire erupted again. A burning pain seared through Isaac's leg. He dove behind a fence and pressed his hand to his thigh. It was wet and warm with blood. Isaac clenched his teeth. He peered out from between the posts and his breath caught in his chest. An entire Hessian regiment under fire from the other direction was rushing toward them. Isaac's leg throbbed. He felt dizzy, but he lifted his musket to his shoulder and tried to hold it steady. Before he could even shoot, the Hessian lines began to break. Continental soldiers were firing from the houses and basements where they were hiding. 
To the bridge, someone shouted. They're trying to escape over the creek. Isaac limped behind the rest of the soldiers as they raced with their muskets to the stone bridge. One group of Hessians had already made it across. Instead of chasing them, Glover ordered his men to take the high ground south of the creek. Ready the guns, Glover shouted. Isaac's legs felt like they might crumble beneath him, but he heaved on the ropes alongside the other men. Together they wheeled the cannon into place, blocking off the last escape from Trenton. Just then another group of Hessians arrived, trying to escape over the bridge. When they saw it was already under the control of Washington's army, they filed up the creek, searching for another place to cross. Glover's men fired on them and pushed them into a swampy area where the Hessian cannons got hopelessly stuck in the mud. Again, a voice boomed, fire! Isaac wasn't sure who'd given the order. The commands and cannon booms pounded in his ears, and his vision grew blurry. He stared toward the cannon crew, but stumbled and fell. Ranger rushed to his side. Isaac tried to stand, but his wounded leg buckled under him. He sank to the frozen ground, and everything went black. Chapter 14, Comprehension Questions. Question 1. Isaac was worried that his musket might not fire because it had gotten wet from all the rain during the march to Trenton. How was he supposed to fight the Hessians? if his musket didn't fire? Sample answer. If Isaac's musket didn't fire because of being wet, he was expected to attach his bayonet to his musket and engage the enemy in hand-to-hand -hand combat with this spear-like weapon. Question two. Why do you think Isaac was filled with terror as the Battle of Trenton began? Sample answer. I am sure Isaac was filled with terror as the Battle of Trenton began because he heard musket and cannon fire. This meant Washington's troops were engaging the Hessians in battle, and the Hessians were fighting back. Isaac was likely scared that he might be wounded or even killed in this battle. Question 3. Why did Isaac pass out during the Battle of Trenton? Sample answer. Isaac passed out during the Battle of Trenton because he got shot in the leg. He likely passed out because this wound resulted in a significant loss of blood. And this takes us to chapter 15.